going on everybody beastly gamer here welcome to the channel today we're talking about nintendo and super mario run now i heard a lot of good things about this game a good friend of mine bought it day one and it seems like for all intents and purposes it's a good or enjoyable ios game uh, people have been playing on their iPads, on their iPhones, and from what I understand, people have really been enjoying it. I have an iPad, but I have not downloaded this game. But apparently, it's not as big and it's not as popular as Pokemon Go was, because Nintendo stocks have dropped after Super Mario Run's release and its lukewarm reviews. I'll drop a link in the description. 16% of Nintendo stocks have dropped five days after Super Mario Run was released. Analysts blame the lukewarm reviews of the newest game. The Super Mario Run is Nintendo's first full venture into mobile gaming. It marked a significant shift for the firm, which focused solely on making games for its consoles. The game is only available in iOS and is currently having an average rating of 2.5 stars in the Apple App Store. Early reviews and sales of the Super Mario Run disappoint investors, with Nintendo shares down 7.1% in Tokyo Stock Exchange trading. During a five-day streak, the stock has fallen more than 16%. Nintendo stock had risen more than 20% in a month before the slide began. According to a Wall Street Journal report, Nintendo's share price has taken a hit for five consecutive days. Analysts say that despite the pre-release hype surrounding the game, which in fact spiked Nintendo's shares as investors went all in on the game, negative reviews post-release were a major point of concern. Polygon reports that other big concerns of investors in Super Mario Run is the $9.99 price point. Unlike Pokemon Go, Niantic is very successful in its mobile game that was released last summer for free. Nintendo investors are also concerned at the lack of new content the developer brings to Super Mario Run. The game was launched on December 15th and it is the top downloaded app on the App Store in North America, but it has experienced an opposite fate in Japan. Many players criticize the Super Mario Run game. Some say it's too expensive compared to the other titles and games in the App Store. The first three levels of the game are free, but the full game costs $10 to play. Despite the current issue of Super Mario Run, Nintendo confirmed the game will be coming to Android devices in 2017. No exact release date on when Android users will be able to play the game, but Nintendo may announce this during the first quarter of next year. Nintendo shouldn't release this game for $10, especially after something as big as Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go was a huge phenomenon for Nintendo and Niantic, but it was a free game and people kind of got used to that. Nintendo pumped that Pokemon Go into everybody's veins for free, and now they want everybody to cough up $10 for a different experience just because Nintendo's name is on it. So, I mean, I hope the game does well. I don't know if it will. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that Nintendo stocks will rebound and catch back up? Because 15% in five days is a pretty big deal when you talk about stocks of a company with holdings like Nintendo. And this is really shocking to me. The game has only got two and a half stars on the Apple Store. That's a big shock. I would think that this game was doing better than that. You guys let me know what you think about Super Mario Run on iOS. Is it a good game? Is it worth $10? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey,